how easy that it is to cook. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my frog legs in here. Y'all hear that sizzle? Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Are you good? <laughs> Gulf shrimp, I use catfish. catfish. Easy as pie. Hey, this is Donnie Biard from TheCajunKitchen.tv. I'm in St. Martinville, Louisiana. Chagwood Manor. It's the oldest restaurant in Acadiana. Signature Kitchens, Randall's famous restaurant. With my good childhood friend, Charleston, South Carolina, in Lafayette, Louisiana, on the beautiful Bayou Tesh. Now, Darlene and Bootsy Landry. What's more Cajun than that? Yeah. And crawfish? Uh-huh. Well, let's get started cooking some crawfish. Can't take the heat. Get out of the kitchen. You must like the heat. <laughs> and it doesn't get better than South Louisiana good cooking. First thing I want to do today is the frog legs and the shrimp. And I've made an egg batter with just a cup of milk, a cup of water, and two eggs. And I whisk that up, and I've soaked the frog legs in here, and I dredge them in simply some corn flour, and I season them with cayenne pepper, powdered red pepper, and salt. And that's it. Okay, I've got this black iron pot and I've got some peanut oil in here and I've got the temperature set right at around 350. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my frog legs in here and my shrimp and this is gonna cook all together. You hear that sizzle? It doesn't take long to fry seafood, y'all. But I'm gonna do the frog legs first. French word for this frog is wabaron. A bullfrog is a wawaron, a green frog is a grenouille, and a toad frog is a crapo. Give this a little stir. We're gonna let this fry for about five or six minutes. We're gonna get some good, crispy, and hot frog legs. I'm gonna teach y'all a little bit of Cajun talk here. You see this area right here? We like to think that we are just Cajun, and that the rest of these people are Cajun, which means very Cajun, okay? But you don't use an adverb to describe Cajun. It, it's a word in itself, Cajun. I look at the people of St. Martinville like, like a pot of gumbo. <laughs> you got everything thrown in that pot of gumbo. We're gonna let that cook for about 250 years, let that simmer turn on the heat, and we got us a Cajun, y'all! <laughs> Y'all coming to the fish fry? Well, come on. Farmers in general are really struggling. It's critical. Crawfish from China. It's going to be a national issue. The oyster beds. A loss of jobs. That's becoming a major problem. Our utilities. Coastal erosion. It's tragic. Crucial problem. Oh, it's been an emergency for much too long. I've been down in the seafood business for almost four decades, and uh, the erosion is incredible. Coastal erosion in Louisiana is tied very strongly to our to our culture. We are bordering right on the, the, the largest freshwater basin in the United States of America, in the Chafalaya Basin. It keeps eroding, eroding, and we're losing all of our, uh, our oyster bay area, our shrimping grounds, our fishing grounds. What's happening now, because the coastline is eroding our way, is on a farm perspective, what's happening is we're starting to get more saltwater intrusion that we never had before. We don't have near as many uh, shrimpers as you used to have even 15, 20 years ago. Most of our people, I'm talking about Cadian people, make their living in one of three ways. They're either fishermen. There's not nearly the fish that we used to catch. They're in the farming industry. We feed the United States. Or they're making an oil and gas. Louisiana produces a lot of raw materials that, that, that feeds up about a third of the energy uh, to the nation. People all too often think that this is a Louisiana problem. Well, let me tell you, if they think it's a Louisiana problem when Hurricane Katrina hit two years ago and we shut down basically a third of the nation's energy just for a few days. What happens to us happens to the, the rest of the country. Louisiana provides two-thirds of the entire seafood to the nation. A lot of people can't make their living off of the oyster beds anymore. Getting people known to the fact that we are eroding. Our restaurants cannot survive. And we are eroding rapidly. In addition to the loss of the land mass it is the loss of our culture. Our ethnic group is very unique. We need to refocus. We've lost a lot of our shoreline. And unless we do something about that, uh, we're going to have some major problems. What can be done? Rally support of the Congress. Funding from the federal government. Get down there and do, and do something. Why can't we take care of the people that are taking care of us right here in this country? Uh, we're trying to reverse uh, you know, a century's worth of damage. The Cajun people and their flavor and their and their joie de vie 
lives on and it'll never go away. Today, you're not going to believe what we have on the menu. Fried channel pet fish, beef tenderloin, corn mog chew, grill up some alligator, fig preserve, sweet potatoes, swoo dan. We're going to be cooking up some crawfish, etouffee, delicious bacon, green beans and onions, frog legs, fry some alligator, and some shrimp that came from the Gulf this morning. Pork roast dinner, and like my mom always says, a good French bread. What could be better for Sunday dinner?